Hi, I'm David. In this session, we're going to be following a step-by-step -step guide to enabling CDC for Astra DB using Elasticsearch. The goal is to get updates in Elasticsearch when data in an Astra DB table changes. We'll accomplish this through the change data capture pattern. The prerequisites for this session are to have an active Astra paid account to have the CDC feature enabled, and a publicly accessible running instance of Elasticsearch and Kibata. We'll be using a trial account from Elastic.io uh, that really has no pre-existing configurations. So to get started, we're going to confirm which cloud region we'll be using uh, for this demonstration. So we head to the Astra Streaming uh, Regions page in the documentation, and we notice that three clouds are supported, uh, some with multiple regions. For this demonstration, we're going to be using Google Cloud, and we're going to choose US Central 1. This is a key choice because we need a region that both Astra DB and Astra Streaming support. So let's head over and log in to our Astra DB account. And now the first step is to create a database. So we click on Create Database. We're going to give it a name of my company. We're going to give it a keyspace name of our product. And I'm going to choose Google Cloud, North America, US Central 1, and Create. And now we'll wait until the database has a status of active. And with our database created, now we'll go in and create a table. So we'll head over to the CQL console within our database, and we'll paste a create table statement. We're creating a table called all accounts with three columns, an ID, a full name, and an email. And with that created, now we're going to create our streaming tenant. So we'll head to create streaming, We'll choose a tenant name of My Company Streams. We'll choose Google Cloud as our provider and US Central 1 as our region to match where our database is. Now with the tenant created, we'll go back and enable CDC. So we head to our company database to the CDC tab and we click on Enable CDC choose our new tenant that we just created, the key space that we created for the database, and the table name. And now we'll wait for a status of active for our CDC enablement. And with our CDC feature enabled, now we'll head over back to our streaming tenant, and we're going to create the sync to connect to Elasticsearch. So we head into syncs, we create the sync. We're going to choose a namespace of Adra, Astra CDC. This namespace was created for us when we enabled the CDC feature. We're going to choose a sync type of Elasticsearch. We're going to name it ES Account Sync. We're going to choose a topic of the data topic for our table, All Accounts. This was created for us also when we enabled the CDC feature. And now we need to input some connection information uh, for our sync to make it to Elastic Cloud. So we'll head over to our Elasticsearch service, go into the deployment, and we're going to go to management for this workspace. And for our Elasticsearch application, there is a endpoint option to copy to clipboard. So we'll copy that. We'll come back over in here. We'll paste it in there. We're going to name the index something memorable, CDC account messages. The default username for the account is Elastic. I will bring in my password for this. Uh, the token and API key can be left alone because we're using our username and password. We're going to set ignore record key to false. Uh, these are fine. We're going to say strip nulls. Uh, we're going to leave that to true. The enable schema, we're going to make, mark that true. And the copy key fields, we're going to leave that at false. All right. 
And so now let's let the sync get created and we'll wait for a status of running. All right, and our sync now has a status of running. And so with our CDC feature enabled and our Elasticsearch sync running and active, now we're going to add a little bit of data to the table. And this should uh, be pushed over to Elasticsearch automatically via our CDC features. So we're going to insert one row of data to our all accounts with just some nice information. Okay, nothing good, all good there. Now we're going to head over to our Elasticsearch instance. We're going to go into the deployment. And now some things have been created in our Elasticsearch environment. So we're going to, on the menu here, we're going to go to Management, and we're going to go to Stack Management. And then we're going to go to the Kibana Data Views. And in there, <clears throat> because we have information that's been added, Elastic tells us we see that. And so let's automatically create a data view for it. We're going to name it uh, the same. The data view is same as the uh, index that we chose and create. Good. Everything is saved here. It's it's all automatic. Uh, not a whole lot of work to do, just clicking. Now let's go back and now we actually want to see the data. So we're going to go to our Kibana Analytics area to the Discover tab and there we have it. Because we created that data view, it automatically brought it up and it saw that we had one record added. There's the information for the record that we added and we have accomplished the change data capture pattern.